look at this, the newest idea coming to fruition at Meyer Gardens. The big announcement coming out just yesterday, the next project, a Japanese garden. And today, we're so blessed, we have David Hooker, the president and CEO of the gardens here with us. And just incredible, the growth that continues to happen. Yeah. It's, it's really amazing. <clears throat> I so appreciate you having me on the show this morning. Um, think about a few words. Tranquility, peacefulness, harmony, healing. Those are all descriptive words of a Japanese garden. Japanese garden is one of the highest forms of horticultural presentations. And we're going to combine that with our unique mission of horticulture and sculpture in this new eight and a half acre gem. It's really, really exciting, and, and we're just bursting at the seams about it. I'm sure it is going to be stunning. And, of course, we just lost Fred Meyer, yeah, I mean, such um, an icon in our community. Before leaving, was this one of his last visions that it, he had for <clears throat> Meyer Gardens? Absolutely. It, it really is. It's his last uh, big wish for Meyer Gardens. Um, an interesting story. A little over two years ago, I, I ran into Fred, and we got to talking, and you all knew Fred, and mm -hmm. when you ran into Fred, you talked. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, <clears throat> so we were having a very casual conversation, and, and towards the end of it, he said, Hey, David, he said, I, th I think we ought to have a Japanese garden out at the gardens. What do you think? I'm like, what do you mean what I think? This would <laughs> be like, great. Great idea. He said, well, Lena loves Japanese gardens, and she really loves to have tea in the tea houses in a Japanese garden, so I think we ought to do that. Oh. And I said, great idea. Well, that started a really a two-year process of planning um, and design work um, that we've now completed, and uh, we're ready to get going, so it's really exciting. How yeah. difficult of a creation will this be? I mean, I know that you guys have done everything from, you know, just the beautiful facilities to all the other gardens in there, but how much of a challenge is it to create a Japanese garden? Yeah, well, it is a challenge, but it's also a, a great joy and an opportunity for us. We don't necessarily have the talent on our staff to do that, so we, we looked out into the, really into the world, and we found a gentleman by the name of Hoichi Kurisu. Hoichi's got an incredible life story. He was born in Hiroshima, Japan in the late 1930s. So instantly you realize he survived the atomic bomb blast in the 1940s. Mm -hmm. And as a, as a, you know, really an adolescent, he saw the healing power of gardens after that most tragic event. He uh, spent some time in the United States as a young man, went back to Tokyo, got his formal education in landscape design and construction and came to the United States in 1972 and started his own company. So he's, he's living the American dream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here he is in his, uh, now in his early uh, 70s, although he looks like he's about 45. And he <laughs> acts like living. it. Yeah, it is, exactly. It's all that gardening. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and he has said that this is going to be the crowning achievement of his career. Wow, really? Yeah. Oh, I just, how amazing. There are so many really beautiful things at Meyer Gardens right now. Where is it going to be situated? What exactly will it look like? We just saw some renderings there that just yes. seemed incredible. Is it something that you walk through to experience? Mm. Is it something that you interact with? Yeah, <clears throat> all of that. Um, so as you, you enter our facility, you walk down the scenic corridor and then out into the sculpture park. If you walk past the children's garden, mm -hmm. uh, would be on your right, the horse plaza on your left. And there's an eight and a half acre parcel of land where the, the tram goes all the way around. Mm -hmm. um, and it'll be just west of the Michigan Farm Garden. Wow. And it's an ideal spot for a Japanese garden because there's elevation changes, there's lots of water, um, and, uh, and then there's going to be just beautiful vistas in there. So it'll be really cool. So exciting. Well, we just thank you for coming and sharing the great news and walking us through at least the vision and really what is going to be a great creation over the next few years at Meyer Gardens. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, thank you very much for having me. And I hope you can do your show sometime from our new garden. Oh, that would be nice. We'll take that as a special invitation. <laughs> yeah, please do. So yeah. when would people be able to experience it? What are you targeting? Mm -hmm. We're going to, uh, we still have uh, planning work and fundraising to okay. do this year. We will definitely start construction in the spring of 2013. Okay. If all goes really, really well, we might do some major excavation work uh, yet this year. We wish you the best ah. of luck. Well, Exciting. thank you so yeah. much. Thank That's you. Really great. Yeah, we'll be right back. This is 8 West.